Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talk Sport. Just doing a preview of our last Europa League group game, um, match day six. Um, it's all kind of wrapped up already, you know, we're already qualified from the group. Even if we lose this game, um, you know, we can't drop any lower from the first spot. Um, so for me, it's an opportunity to give certain players an opportunity to play. Um, you know, obviously the likes of Nicola Pepe I expect to play. Um, as he's still serving a free game ban following his red card at Leeds. And, you know, there's youngsters like um, Emil Smith-Rowe, uh, Miguel Aziz, I'd like to see um, get some minutes. Also the likes of um, following Balogun as well. So um, Arteta's got a decision to make, you know. Um, we need to see some... We probably will see a performance in this game, no matter what side we put out. But then, you know, we've got the Premier League again and, you know... Um, I tell you what, without the Europa League this season, Arteta probably would already be out of a job with the way um, we've been performing in the league. But um, the Europa League seems to be well to us so far. Obviously, after this stage, it gets to the knockout rounds, and you know that's when things will be critical. And you know, l losses there will will mean you know kicked out of the tournament. Um, but um, in this game, like I said, I want to see certain players just being given an opportunity to to just play. And, you know, I still expect us to win. I, I'm going to go with a 3-1 um, scoreline for the game on Thursday night. So, firstly, um, in goal, I'm going to go with Runison. Um, so far, he hasn't really impressed me too tough. Um, I'm still quite worried that, you know, if Leno was to get injured, uh, we'd be kind of screwed. You know, last season, it's like Martinez came in, did a job. And, you know, to some, including myself, probably proved himself as the better goalkeeper. But... I don't really see the same with Runnison, um, but you know he is what we I would play on Thursday night in a, in a game which is meaningless to us. Um, in the back four at right back, Cedric Suarez, um, he's got to do something now to stake a claim to to start in in the Prem because you know we've got um, the fashion model, Mister Falfro, and clearly he's not learning from none of these mistakes. And to be honest with you, I, I, I'm kind of fed up of him. Um, He's one of the first players I sell when I start my Arsenal career mode and football manager, truth be told. But, you know, um, I don't expect him, I don't expect Bellerin to play this game and I don't really want to see him play much else. You know, we've got January next month. Let him let him go on loan. Let him do something just away from this club. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. So I'll go Cedric Suarez at right back, left back. Um, Kalasinac, I thought he had a decent game the last Europa League game. Um, hopefully he can replicate that. He's never going to be on the level of Kieran Tierney, but if he can show some level of decent consistency between now and January, um, so we can we can finalise that deal for him to go to Bayer Leverkusen, that would be great. Um, Centre-half partnership, I'll go with Pablo Mari and um, Mustafi. Um, obviously, Mari still returning from that injury, played well last week. Um, Mustafi, obviously, leaving at the end of the season is where it is. Just put in a, a decent performance for us, I'd say. I'm um, going into the midfield. Um, this is where I'm going to, you know, experiment. I think Ainsley Maitland-Niles played well in there the other day. And I'd like to see him play there again. Um, alongside him, I'd like to give a debut to Miguel Aziz. You know, he's, he's travelled a couple of times now. And been involved in the Europa League squads just on the bench. And I think this is the perfect game to give him an opportunity to play. And, you know, that's what I would do. I'd start him from the off. Play him alongside Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And at the moment, you know, Partey, we're not too sure how long he's out for but I presume a substantial amount of time um, following that setback at Spurs on Sunday and you know Mohamed Elneny can put in satisfactory performances but he's not the answer Granit Xhaka definitely not the answer Ceballos here and there can put in good performances but overall not the answer and I don't see why the likes of you know um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles um, and Miguel Z's can't stake a claim not to be first choice starters in the Prem but to give Arteta an option and you know to make a name for yourself because at the end of the day the way things are going right now Arteta might not be there much longer so you know make yourself a, a face to be known to any potential incoming managers no matter what the situation is but you know go out in there do a job and you know if you're not playing in the Premier League and the performances aren't going well um, the fans will put pressure on for you to start <coughs> apologies same way we did with Joe Willock um, you know, he's playing one well Europa League, then he's burst himself into the, the Premier League side. So that's what I'd like to see from those two. Um, just in front of them, I'd like to see Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, every Arsenal fan's talking about creativity. He's one of our only players that seem to have some level of creativity. 
And yeah, I'd like to see him involved in this game from the off. Um, off that left-hand side, I'd actually go with um, Reese Nelson. Um, I think he's better when he plays on the left-hand side. So that's where I'd like to see him start in this game. Um, and, you know, just putting another good performance. I was gutted that he, he didn't even make the bench against um, Spurs. I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. And again, it, it, it kind of highlighted some poor man management from Mikel Arteta. Um, off the right inside, I spoke about him at the beginning, Nicola Pepe. Obviously, you know, still serving at Premier League band. So, you know, minutes, minutes for him is what it is. And then up top, um, Eddie Nketiah um, come off the bench against Spurs on Sunday. Um, didn't really do much. To be fair, the team didn't really do much. But, you know, um, I feel like in this game, he has to prove himself first 55 minutes. And, and that's another thing for Arteta is like, you you can't keep making these like late subs, like you know. For me, Eddie's like you got fifty minutes to do something, maybe fifty five minutes. You know, after half time, you got ten minutes to do something. If not, Balogun's coming on. Ideally, I'd like to see Balogun maybe even start the game, but where he'd probably play on, on a wing. Um, who knows what Arteta's gonna do? If if you if I wanted Balogun to start, I'd probably play him on one wing, um, Eddie through the middle, Pepe on the other wing, and rest Nelson, kind of assuring him that you know. You're you're going to be starting at the at the weekends, but I'm not the manager. I'm not paid six million a year. I'm I'm sure if I was paid that a year, I'd, I'd figure it out soonish, and I'd probably know my starting eleven. But you know, um, it is what it is. So yeah, that's it from me. That's my um preview, um, my score prediction, and my predicted starting eleven. Well, eleven I would go with anyways. Um, I'd be grateful if you could give me your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you haven't already done so, go hit that subscribe button now, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.